Hola, somos Carrie y Luis. Esta es nuestra casa, bienvenidos. Eh, esta es la, nuestra audición para The Blog. Luis, in English. Ok. Hi everyone, I'm Carrie and this is Luis Casanova. And yes, that is our last name. Welcome to our auditions for The Blog. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis is a bit of a frustrated builder. He comes from um, a long line of builders with his brother and father, both carpenters, and Lewis ended up being a bit of an IT geek. Mm. So what do you think you can bring to the block? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my dad and uh, <laughs> every question or everything that I don't know what to do, he's going to tell me what to do. Yeah, nobody else is going <laughs> to understand it because it's all going to be in Spanish. That's all right, I'll translate. Both of us are, are very hard workers, um, competitive at heart. Because I'm a project manager um, by trade, I probably like to be across a project. So yeah, I can see me kind of, I wouldn't like to say dictating, but. Get rid of the foot that. Don't drop them. You can take that off. Me, how would people describe me? Um, and then take it over, take the. Without spreading it out. Um, I can probably be a little bit bossy. I like to have a bit of fun. Yeah, so we bought it around three years ago and it was a complete and utter dump. Oh, uh, it was, yeah. We completely rebuilt it essentially, re-stumped, rewired, re-plastered, re-plumbed, moved some walls around. I guess I'm a bit of a sucker for an old house. For me, I really um, appreciate sort of traditional features, period features, and want to maintain them, and then being able to mix them with um, a more contemporary sort of look. So the lead light windows, the high ceilings, um, the strapping in the ceiling, uh, the, the big cornices. I called this my, my shiny, tight ass challenge. I wanted things to look as good as they could. Um, I wanted high quality finishings, but I also wanted to do it on a pretty tight budget. Repurposed, salvaged, a lot of um, the fitted, fittings, like the windows were salvaged, um, the toilets were salvaged, surprise, surprise. So we were able to save some money in some areas. And then of course I spent it in others. Yep. <laughs> I actually really love the Spanish apartments. They've got the really high ceilings, yeah. period features, and I think the Spanish do it really well with mm. introducing colour, combining wood and different textures. I think they do it really well. So mm. that, that's certainly been a bit of an influence, but more accessories to, to bring in the colour as opposed to, so it's a bit of a blank canvas, so you can switch it up a bit. Mm. Mm. So we've done now two houses. The, the first one, um, it's our investment property, but it was more of a refurbishment, if you like. We didn't really do anything structural, um, put in a, a kit kitchen, painted inside and out, just upgraded the fixtures, um, so it was more contemporary. And then this one was basically an entire rebuild. It's been great to, to be able to do this together, whilst Lewis hasn't done a lot of the, the manual sort of um, he hasn't done sort of the painting and the finishes, he's been more involved in the demolition and the clean up. So I can go in and make a complete mess and then he comes in behind me and cleans up. So seems like a match made in heaven to me. You can't stand mess. Well, I'll clean it up. He, he's a little bit OCD. Well, let me move the clothes, you're, you're going to make a mess. Don't you want to put some newspaper down? Yeah. He's slow to anger, but when he does anger, you want to look out. He's very handsome. But he's certainly not a Casanova by the term that we would... Um... When we do argue, it's usually because I'm hassling him and giving him a hard time. You know, we, uh, we crash a little bit, we have arguments. <laughs> um... mm, we probably argue probably more so when we, we haven't had a lot of sleep or if Lewis hasn't had a lot of sleep, he likes to sleep. You can enjoy arguments in two different languages. <laughs> I'm like a goldfish, I forget about it after like a few minutes, but um, she, <laughs> she, the secret? <laughs> she doesn't. One of the reasons I want to go onto the block is to prove to Lewis that it's not all full of actors. He has this theory that everyone on reality television is an actor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I guess Lewis um, sees himself as a bit of an actor, don't you? Yeah, I think so. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be a blockhead. I really enjoy the banter of a, um, of a work site and the camaraderie that you get together with the, the tradies and mm -hmm. everyone sort of achieving something together, even though you're putting yourself under enormous pressure. The euphoria, I think we're kind of adrenaline junkies. Mm -hmm. 